used to be a long time ago, physicians had three basic ways to uh, determine what was wrong with somebody who might have a muscle skeletal problem. We had a history, a physical, and an x-ray. So the doctors would rely on a history to take a look and see, well, you know, what's the problem? What do you feel? And uh, how, how is it bothering you? How did it happen? That kind of thing. And then we did a physical exam. We'd examine a joint, for example, and see if we could determine where the problem was by our exam. Then if we're still not sure, we would get an x-ray. And that would tell us a lot about the bone. And we could infer a little bit of information about the soft tissue, but not always. And then in about 1977 was the invent of the MRI, which was the first diagnostic tool that let us see soft tissue for the first time. So the things we couldn't see in an x-ray, we actually now could see with an MRI. Well, there are some limitations with MRIs, one being that it's in a static position. That means that if you have back pain and you're getting an MRI and your back pain only hurts when you're standing up, but your MRI is taken with you lying down, you don't always have the best information. And then we also found out that a lot of times in normal people, we have abnormal MRI findings. So for example, someone may be having back trouble or never having back trouble and they get an MRI and it shows they have some degenerative problems and disc bulges, but it doesn't bother them. So we have to be careful with everything we see on the MRI. It's certainly a very powerful tool, but it has to be also with the use of a history and a physical to see if it fits with the patient and what the symptoms are they're having. Now, come to modern day, we've added one other element to help us diagnose a patient with muscle skeletal problems, and that's the ultrasound. The ultrasound allows us to take images of joints, muscles, tendons, and ligaments, just like an MRI, but in dynamic or real time. Now we can actually see the joint move right before our eyes. Ultrasound uses sound waves to help us look at muscle, skin, ligaments, cartilage, and bones. And that also allows us to look at these in a dynamic time frame, which means we can actually move a joint and see what it looks like when it's moving using ultrasound, which were things we couldn't do with an x-ray or an MRI. This helps us diagnostically help determine exactly what's wrong with the patient, get a better accurate diagnosis for ultimately a better treatment and care course.